monster held the golden envelope in her furry paws. The sticker monster pulled the clue from the envelope, and she said, I know! This clue has to match something nearby, but what? <laughs> <laughs> she compared the clue to the thing she saw around her. The canoe! The clue matches the canoe! Go to the canoe! The sticker monster exclaimed, The next clue must be in the canoe! The sticker monster jumped off the cliff and landed in the canoe. Don't worry, Snow. The clue's in that boat. I know it. I found it! yelled the sticker monster. I found the next clue! <laughs> Yay! Yay! She compared the new clue to the things around her. <gasps> Mm -hmm. The sticker monster paddled her boat to the tree, and there on the ground was a big X. Dig! She used her trusty shovel and dug deep into the ground, and there it was, a treasure chest full of stickers. The sticker monster announced with joy, I love stickers! Shiny stickers, fuzzy stickers, all kinds of stickers! <laughs> but what was that? There at the bottom of the treasure chest was another golden envelope. <gasps> and this clue would lead the sticker monster on the biggest adventure of her life. To be continued. The end. To be continued? We've got to read the next book right now. Please! I would, but I just don't know where the next book is. Maybe it's hidden in a treasure chest somewhere. Aww, Ellie! And even if I did have the next book, it's past your bedtime. But because you've been so good, I've got something else for you. Stickers! One for you, one for you, and one for you. Ooh, mine's shiny. Mine's kind of fuzzy. Mine smells like cherries. Thank you, Ellie. Ellie, you've been the bestest babysitter. I haven't even missed Super while she's been away. I'm kind of sad tonight's the last night. Me too. I loved having you three over. I forgot how much I like acting out stories. Good night, Wombats. Good night, Ellie. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It can't be. That moose has a golden envelope. I'll get it. Look out! I got it! <gasps> it's a clue, just like the ones in the Sticker Monster books. Whoa! So that means this clue leads to another clue. And that clue will lead us to another clue. Till all the clues lead us to... A, a treasure! treasure! Woohoo! We're on our very own treasure hunt. Just like the sticker monster. 
Roar! So that means this clue matches something around here. What could it be? What are you doing? Looking at the clue upside down. And good thing I did, because now I know what it is. It's an umbrella. See? This part stops the rain. And this part is the handle. You're welcome. I see an umbrella. Aww, there's no clue here. Aww, nothing's in here either. <laughs> Let's look at that clue again. Before. It's our favorite thing! To the bathroom! See? It's a bathtub! There's the bathtub, and there's the brush. Now you're welcome. I see the bathtub, and I see the brush. But I don't see the clue. Me neither. If the clue's not here, what else could this picture be? How can you think of food at a time like this? I'm not thinking of it. My tummy is. But why is this clue making me hungry for breakfast? <gasps> Cause it's a bowl of cereal! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> You watch out! No, you! There's the bowl, and there's the spoon. It matches! Ha <laughs> ha! Found it! Good job, Zeke! Let me see. A lollipop? Yeah! There's the yummy part, and there's the stick that holds the yummy part. But where would we find a lollipop? My backpack. I have some lollipops left over from Halloween. The clue isn't there. You know what I see? A circle and a... <gasps> a string! I know what this is! Follow me! See? It's a yo-yo. Not here. Nothing. Nothing. The clue is not a yo-yo. I guess that's a no-no. <gasps> I've got it. Long stick, round on top. It's a sign. Like one for the gondola. Let's go. Come on. <gasps> you were right. It's not here. Why, Sign? Why didn't you have the next clue? Does that gondola look like the clue to anybody else? Hmm. It does to me. Me too. Yummy. Huh? Uh, uh, <laughs> don't you see? There's the yummy part, and there's the stick that holds the yummy part. It's, it's an ice, ice pop! pop. To, to the, the Eat and Greet Cafe! <laughs> ice pops, please. The kind that Super always buys us. Of course. I know just the kind you like. And I'll absolutely get those for you. <laughs> Amazing! Tomorrow. Aww. We're all sold out today. But we need those ice pops. We've got to find the next clue, and it has to be on the ice pops because this is an ice pop. Kind of looks like a spatula to me. Aww, the clue isn't there. <sighs> now we'll never be able 
able to dig up the treasure. Hmm. Dig up? Wait a minute. Hmm. Zeke, you're a genius. The clue is a shovel. Hear that, Snark? I'm a genius. Huh. I wonder what a genius is. <laughs> Doing great, Wombats. Did somebody say something? <laughs> it's this way! Uh, no, no, no! It's this way! I bet it's this way! No shovel in the shed! No shovel in the tomatoes! No shovel in the apples! No shovel in the zucchini! Now, if I was a shovel, where would I be? Ow! I found the shovel! And there's the X! Just like in the Sticker Monster Treasure Hunt! One... Two... Three... And... Whoa! Woohoo! Uh, 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 yeah! Yes! I wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Whoa! <laughs> it's the next Sticker Monster book! Yeah! That's right! Ellie! You did all of this for us? Mm-hmm. You're the best babysitter ever! Can you read it to us? I could, but I think I should let someone else help do it. The sticker monster held the golden envelope in her furry paws. And she said, I know. This... Thank you so much for babysitting, Ellie. How are my little fishes doing? The kids are doing just fine, Mrs. Fishman. I'll see you soon. Don't cry, little fishes. What are your wishes? I can get anything you need in a jiffy. Would you like a snack? Snack, snack. Try some of this or that. That, that. I didn't expect you'd still be upset. What's causing these tears? What should I try next? Would you like toys? Toys, toys that make noise. Noise, noise. I didn't expect you'd still be upset. What's causing these tears? What should I try next? I need to think, think, think how to stop your tears. Tears, tears. Now I understand why you were upset. What was causing those tears? What you needed was rest. Turns out the cause, cause, cause. Was you needed sleep, sleep, sleep. The effect, effect, effect. Is you stopped your crying, crying, crying. So tired, I think I'll lay down, down, down for a little nap. Kayatastic split. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Someone's excited! Lola Gabriella, I'm not just excited. I'm the most excited I've ever been in my whole entire life. I have two students for my first ever live stream cooking class. Did you practice what you're going to do? I did, I did, I did! Then I'm sure it will be kayatastic, just like you. <laughs> if this live stream goes well, then maybe next time there will be three students, then four students, and someday the whole entire tree brood. <laughs> what are you making for today's class? I'm going to show them how to make my kayatastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split. Oh, <gasps> sarap! Yum! Who are your lucky students? Zeke and Louisa. Oh, those two are quite the pair. Almost there. And drop them. Phew! Let's make sure we have all the ingredients. Check Kaya's list. Three types of ice cream. Check. 
bananas. Check. Now we need the toppings. Guinea pig. Check. Mmm. I love this Filipino rice cereal. So crispy and crunchy. Cherries. Check. Okay. That's all the toppings. Wait. Something's missing. Bananas. Ooh, ah! <sighs> that was close. Knuckle <gasps> Uh-oh. Maybe it's okay. Oh, the camera's broken. Maybe Mr. E can help. I e ha. The Everything Emporium is closed today. Ellie took Mr. E skydiving. Hmm. Couldn't you just teach Zeke and Louisa in person? Lola, that would just be a cooking class. This is supposed to be my first ever live stream. Sorry, Mr. Scoop. I won't be needing you today. I guess I have to cancel. I really wanted to teach a live stream cooking class. But that won't work if nobody can see me. Maybe they don't need to see you. What? What if you did your cooking class over the Treborhood intercom instead? Zeke and Louisa wouldn't be able to see you, but they would be able to hear your directions. Mr. Scoop, we're back in business. Attention, Kayatastic students. Due to a banana accident, we won't be able to do Kaya's class over video. Aww. Instead, Kaya will teach her cooking class over the intercom. And now, without further ado, here's Kaya. Yay! Welcome to my first ever intercom class. Listen carefully to my directions, and you too will be able to make a Kaya-tastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split. What makes my banana split kaitastic is it has three halo halo ice cream flavors. Cheese, ube, which is a purple yam, and makupuno, which is a special sweet coconut. And it's also kaitastic because it is big. So use a nice big bowl. This is our biggest bowl. All you need to do is follow my directions exactly. Get it? Got it. First, Put your banana in the bowl. Okay, next, add all three kinds of ice creams to the bowl. Maybe we need to smush it down. <sighs> they don't fit. This is not kayatastic at all. We're gonna need a bigger bowl, but this is the biggest bowl. <gasps> What we can use? Now that is some smart thinking. It fits! And also, we can eat it anywhere in the neighborhood. Next comes the guinea pig. They give my kayatastic, banana-tastic, halo halo split a tasty crunch. I like to shake the bag and do a little dance as I put the guinea pig on top. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh, yeah. oh yeah! Now put it on top! Something's not right. Much better. And for the final touch, put one cherry on the tippy top. I can't open the jar. Yeah. Did you not know my mama smacks the lid when jars are stuck shut? You know so many things. I don't know. That does not look like any banana split I've ever seen before. But we followed Kaya's directions exactly. Huh? Zeke, Louisa, I'd love to see what you made. Take a photo of your Kaya-tastic split and send it to me. <gasps> Whoa! Anabayan! Is that a problem? No! There's a disaster of epic proportions! I told Zeke and Louisa exactly what I did. And my kayatastic, banana-tastic, hollow, hollow split looks like this. But theirs looks like this. Oi, grabe. Wow. Something went really wrong here. How do I fix this? Okay. 
Let's check your steps. What exactly did you tell them? Well, I said to put the banana in the bowl and then to put the ice cream in the bowl. And that looks like exactly what they did, right? Oh, I didn't tell them to peel the bananas or to scoop the ice cream from the container. Oh, Sige. If you step it out and tell Zeke and Luisa every single step they have to do, I bet they'll make a great kayatastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split. And maybe tell them to use a bowl instead of a wagon. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how we eat it. Hello, Zeke. Louisa, it's Kaya. Listen, my directions weren't clear enough. I didn't step it out and tell you everything you need to do. That's why your kaitastic split didn't end up looking like mine. Oh, that explains a lot. Let's start over. This time, I'll totally step it out. Oh, and by the way, you can use a regular size bowl instead of a wagon. Got it. The first step to making a kaitastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split is peeling your bananas and putting them in the bowl. We peeled the bananas. Next, scoop each ice cream flavor and add it to your bowl. Hmm, how many scoops? As much as we can fit? Now, open your package of pinipig and sprinkle it on the ice cream. I think this is how you sprinkle. I learned it at a wedding. And lastly, add one cherry to the tippy top of your kayatastic split. Take a photo and send it to me. Oh no! This is a double disaster! There are too many ingredients in their bowl. What went wrong? How do I fix this? I'm not go. What happened? Did you step it all out this time? Yes! I said to peel the bananas and scoop the three kinds of ice cream and add them to the bowl. But I didn't say how many bananas or how many scoops. Oops. So first, you learned that you need to tell them every step. And now you learned you need to tell them how much of each ingredient to use. You know what to do next. We're gonna need bigger spoons. Hold it. Your kayatastic split still doesn't look like mine because I forgot to tell you how much of each thing to add. That's why yours could feed the whole tree rod. Oh. My bad, sorry. So let's do it one more time. We'll work it out this time. Yes! First, peel one banana and put it into a clean bowl. Then add one scoop of each flavor of ice cream to the bowl. Next, Sprinkle a little pinipig onto the ice cream. Put one cherry on top and take a picture and send it to me. Yes! Look, Lola! Zeke and Louise's kai-tastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split looks just like mine. Galing! You worked it out! When I didn't miss any steps and told them exactly how much of each ingredient to use, it was easy, kind of. And now I think the next step is a taste test. Wait a sec. Hold it. Thanks for being a part of my first class. Your kai-tastic, banana-tastic, halo-halo split looks just like mine. But there's one more thing. It looks pretty dumb to me. Come to the Starlight Room for an ice cream party. An ice cream party. Yummy! Oh, now for the very last step. Dig in! Mm, go yum. Let's Kaya, all anybody can talk about is when your next live stream is. Or intercom class. Either way, it'll be Kaya-tastic. Mm. That is one fantastic banana split. It's not just fantastic, it's Kayatastic! Work It Out Wombats is made possible in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people, by these generous supporters, and by viewers like you.
Thank you. Find more of your PBS Kids friends on your local PBS station and the free PBS Kids video app. Also subscribe to the PBS Kids Prime video channel.